Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another unboxing and review video. Today we will be looking at the Sony E-mount 18 to 200 millimeter lens. And I did buy this lens for my Sony ZV-E10 YouTube camera. And it's got the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens, E-mount wide angle lens on it, which I've also done a video on. This is the best lens, in my opinion, that you can get for YouTubing lens if you're using the Sony camera system. Now this lens was on my camera about 90% of the time to the point where I did sell all my other lenses. This is for YouTube purposes. This is my YouTube camera setup. So why did I buy this lens if I'm using this one 90% of the time? Because this one is for YouTubing and this is actually more so for photography. I don't need a telephoto lens for YouTubing but I am involved in photography as well. So let's have a look at this lens, which I mainly got for photography purposes. And again, this is an expensive lens. The, the, this lens costs more than the camera. Um, and you can chop around. I always chop around and I got a really good price. This is brand new. And I did actually buy a second hand one of these, which I ended up returning for full refund because it was just terrible. I wasn't happy with it. It looked like someone had been playing football with it or something. So this is what we've got here. Nothing else in the box apart from some instructions, which we won't be needing. It comes nicely wrapped in a little bubble wrap bag. And that's the first look at the actual lens. It does come with a sunshade and it's got another bit of bubble wrap there to stop the sunshade from scratching your lens. So we'll take that off. And this is a brand new lens. It's not a second hand one. This is what it looks like. This is made in China, like all great things these days. And you know, most lenses are these days. Lenses used to be made in Germany and then they were made in Japan and now they're made in China. And I think even this one is made in China. And like I said, this is probably one of the best vlogging lenses out there. So this ranges from 18 millimeter all the way to 200 millimeters. And for those people that don't really know what all that means, I will be putting some photos I've taken with this lens once I take the photos at the end of this video just so you can see what it does and look I'm not a technical channel like I keep saying like if you want all the technical specifications of this lens watch another video if you want the practical amateur applications of this lens this is what this channel is all about actual people, average people using camera equipment. Okay, this is my YouTubing setup, as I've mentioned several times, and we'll take off the lens, which comes off like that, and we will attach the new lens, which looks like that. Okay, obviously it makes the camera a little bit front heavy, but every long range lens will do that. And I've also bought a UV filter, which I'll be installing before I ever take this thing outside. Okay, you need a UV filter on all your lenses to protect the lens. You can always change the UV filter, but you don't want to be spending a thousand dollars replacing your lens or getting your lens fixed when you can just spend $20 on the filter. My YouTubing lens, it's got a UV filter on it at all times and really it's not even noticeable okay it does protect the original lens that's in there it has no effect on image quality or anything else unless it's dirty obviously so they keep it clean but then again it's no different to your lens being dirty so now you're just cleaning the filter instead of cleaning the lens 
Let's put the UV filter on my UNs before I even do anything with it. There it is, there's the UV filter. There's my camera lens, untouched by human hands. And there it is sealed behind the UV filter. Your standard lens cap still fits the exact same, makes no difference. And your sun filter still fits the same way, makes no difference. So it doesn't interfere with anything, it just protects the front of your lens, your expensive glass, with a $20 UV filter. So what I'll be doing in the next few days is go out and take some photos with this lens. I'm actually traveling to Sydney, so I'll be taking that lens with me. So hopefully I might get some nice street photography photos that I can put on the end here. One of the main reasons I opted for this lens as a complement to that lens, which I also use for photography because it's a wide angle, perfect for landscapes and all that sort of stuff. Now this one is 10 to 18 millimeter focal range and this one is 18 so it takes up where this one leaves off to 200 so they complement each other perfectly and they cover a very very wide range of applications and another bonus why I decided on this lens to complement that over any other lens available is that they've got the exact same filter size. They're both 62 millimeter threads. So any special effects filters or UV filters or polarizing filters or anything else that I might have will fit this lens as well as that lens. So you only need to keep one set of filters instead of buying two separate sizes sets of filters for your lenses so you don't have to have one set of filters for this and another set of filters for that i can use the exact same filters and i do have a bunch of filters that i use for photography as well there's my reasoning for buying this lens and like i said this is not a technical review it's a user review of a real life person using their camera to film YouTube videos and do some photography. Now enjoy these photos at the end. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found those photos interesting and the information helpful. If you did, do me a favour, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button, not the brand new lens, for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching.